So the top uh, shelf here, we have our Apple Bop game. And I did feature this in our farm themed or apple themed video last year. And it's a fun little board game. Um, so just a quick overview here. You're supposed to pop out the apples out of the apple tree. And if they fall into these baskets, then you get to keep them. And as long as they are the color that you need for your apple basket. And once you complete it, you win. So pretty fun. Um, here we have some apple erasers that we just used as different manipulatives. A few of the resources, books that we used, three-part cards, the main book that we used as our resource and inspiration for this farm unit, and uh, you will see an inside view of that also later on. Uh, a sensory bin from Biddy Beginnings that goes along with this and just a few more resources and then these are some farm animals that we used for sensory baskets and for our grammar farm as well. A quick voice over here to get through the book resources that we used for this unit. Now our bulk of inspiration and information came from this farm anatomy book from the Julia Rothman collection set of books. There are three books and again for this unit we used the farm anatomy. Now this book really is packed with beautiful illustrations and uh, all the information that you would need for a preschooler and even uh, through early elementary. Uh, so here we use this uh, for our apple uh, unit and then we got into farm animals. So this book is packed with resources on farm animals and we did study horses. We focused on horses this time around. Uh, to the different food foods that we get from a farm, uh, all the agriculture, um, down to the equipment, tractors, uh, different types of barn houses. I mean, this book really is packed with information. We did have a farm unit last year, and that was just a, a broader uh, spectrum of farm animals. So this year, along with it being somewhat of a refresher, I did want to dig deeper uh, on the study of horses. So this is one of the book resources that I used for that. This is a bit advanced for my children, so I was able to just pick what I wanted to read to them. And then of course the illustrations in this book are just absolutely beautiful. Here is a sticker activity book to go along with that horse study. And I purchased this brand from AC Moore, this brand of sticker activity books. And first of all, the illustrations in this book are absolutely beautiful, but it also is packed with information. So here we were able to study the anatomy of a horse. Uh, we act, uh, also really explored the different face markings of a horse and what they may mean. Uh, Bella really enjoyed that. It went into grooming, a little bit of uh, riding, and the history on riding. And again, just really interactive as well with all those beautiful stickers. Here are a few of the Apple book resources that we own. Um, again, a lot of our book resources we borrow from the library, uh, but these are just the ones that we own. So Pinkalicious is a favorite series of Bella's, a favorite fiction series. Uh, this book here was great for exploring uh, the seasons through an apple tree. It was wonderful for Bella and Noah to see that. Um, this book here is just from Dollar Tree, not my favorite, but for a dollar, I mean, it does have some useful information and I do like the real life illustrations, pictures in this book. And it comes from Apples. This is a first reader, an easy reader that Bella was able to put together. So she really enjoyed that. And this is a recycle from last year. So this is another recycled activity from last year. And these are three parts cards. Uh, farm themed three part cards. We did not make them into four part cards by adding objects for an object to picture match. Cards are a DIY that I made again last year and unfortunately back then I was not saving my uh, printables and my DIY printables um, so I do not have this resource to share but you can find several three part cards on Teachers Pay Teachers. If you don't know how to use three part cards, I do have a video that I recorded last year um, using the three part cards in a three part lesson with my then three year old and that is farm themed. We did use these exact cards and I will have that linked down below. 
Okay, so I wanted to get through a few card activities that we had um, and these are Apple three-part cards So just like our farmed theme three-part cards and we have two sets here. This first set is the uh, parts of an Apple three-part card And this is one from Teachers Pay Teachers and this is just different uh, types of apples and we paired this with a um, sensory activity, so a tasting and smelling and... And another set of cards that we used were uh, these Montessori uh, Grammar Farm cards and uh, these are for uh, vocabulary again um, and for introducing parts of speech. Um, now, I these did go along with a Montessori grammar farm that I created. So like a small world slash sensory table. I did make a whole separate video for that. So that'll be linked in the description box as well. And then here right now, I'm going to enter a small clip of that grammar farm. One of our favorite resources to use for art is uh, these Walter Foster Learn to Draw books. And this is a farm animals theme. We have a few others as well. Um, and this one I found at a consignment shop for a dollar. So that was a nice find. Another one that we have is like a preschool type watch me draw. Well, actually, oh yeah, this is Walter Foster Jr. Uh, so this one isn't a junior. This is um, recommended for ages six plus. And this is the nonfiction versus the junior is fiction. I like the non uh, junior, so the nonfiction a little bit more, but I will say that it was a little bit more difficult for Bella. So this isn't anything that she was able to do independently. Um, she did have to have someone sit with her and guide her through it, but she really did enjoy it. Um, and so in the tray, I just give her a pencil uh, and paper that she can use. Or she also did journal. Um, she also did journal one with her dad. This tray here is to use with a few worksheets um, and it's our dry erase pocket and I added in here because I want to get multiple uses out of the worksheets and I'm just going to go ahead and pull them out because I know for a fact that you will be getting a glare from that dry erase pocket. <laughs> but basically this is a fill in the blanks uh, with carrots um, since it is farm themed and here she's just to fill in the missing letters in lowercase and then the missing letters in uppercase and she really did enjoy this we also paired it with our movable alphabet if she needed that to use as a guide and then just the dry erase marker again to pair with the dry erase pocket throughout the several weeks of our unit study i do like to switch out just basic worksheets for bella so coloring worksheets uh, cutting and gluing um, and they're from several different resources and so what I do is I like to clip them on a clipboard and then she just can go ahead and grab any materials that she may need for that worksheet um, such as coloring pencils, scissors, glue. So I clip them on this clipboard and again I just switch them out and then we'll hang them up or they'll go in a journal or we decide what to do with the worksheets then. But these are some examples of some worksheets that she's already done. So here she labeled the apple. Uh, this is a farm themed I spy. Uh, and here is some apple vocabulary. So she was to cut out and color, which she didn't finish coloring, but pair uh, the picture with the vocabulary word. Uh, and then here she was to cut out and create a farm. And there is one that we journaled and this is the life cycle of an apple. And so she was just to go ahead and um, sequence the correct stages of an apple. Another apple theme tray, and this is a wonderful resource from Teachers Pay Teachers, and it is a freebie, so make sure to check that out down below. And this is a Spot the Difference card. 
So I included these applesauce uh, caps and just in different uh, what would be apple colors. And so then here the child is just to go ahead and mark the different apple on each card. A freebie resource from totschooling.net and this goes along with the book from Dr. Seuss, 10 Apples on Top. And I don't have that book to show because we did borrow that from the library. Um, but basically here, if you are familiar with the book, um, it's about stacking apples on top of your head. So here uh, we have numbers one through 10. Uh, this sheet is, um, numbers one through 10, but this is not in numerical order. And then this one here is a little bit easier where it does mark these spots for you. And this one is for Noah, my preschooler to use. Along with the apple theme here, this is a math tray and we are using a die. And then Bella is to count the die, one, two, three. And then she is to place that amount of apple seeds and we use uh, dried black beans as our apple seeds. It's great for a one-to-one -one correspondence, counting and number quantity. Again, this is another dry pocket um, one. So here, I'll just take it out so that the glare isn't too awful. Uh, but this is just an easy, uh, fine motor and one-to-one -one transfer for Luna. Uh, so I just use these recycled uh, water bottle caps to go ahead and place here on the empty spots of the tree. And as we did this, we counted uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Here I have another worksheet that we also paired with those water bottle caps. And this is a what comes next, so um, pattern, and I get that's a great pre-math skill. Uh, and so Noah just used the water bottle caps to mark. So tractor, farm, uh, tractor, barn, tractor, barn, what goes next? Tractor. Horse, farmer, horse, farmer, what goes next? Horse. So now getting into the bottom part of our shelf, which I am now designating the bottom rows of the shelf for my top. And the first here is just basic. It's a puzzle. And this is a puzzle from Melissa and Doug. And this just serves as a, this serves as a matching activity. It also serves as a language and vocabulary activity. Vaca, cow. puzzle tray for Luna and this tray she does need a little bit more help with unlike the previous puzzle that you saw she has mastered that one so I like to start off with a peekaboo book and these are sensorial type books um, where they have a different fabric here to touch and they're open flaps she loves these type of books and I love this because it is a non-fiction book and to go with that book, we have another puzzle here. And this puzzle is really old. This is, again, another recycle from last year. I found this at a consignment shop many years ago. Um, but what we're doing here is we're matching the baby farm animal to the um, mom farm animal. So the chick and the hen. On the shelf for her to grab uh, and just play around with are these finger puppets for music time. So we sang Old McDonald's Had a Farm, we sang Bingo, uh, we did Finger Family Farm Edition. Um, so again, just a fun little basket for Luna to go ahead and grab. 